back to stage to get control, or he'll just consistently time Nair with the turn off. And if he misses Nair, he can like reset everything with an actual turn off throw. So I want to see what's a little different with C's Paulo, because this is my first time actually witnessing watching C's Paulo. All right, nice DI doing up, not getting hit by no turn offs. Oh, no jump from Ling. What is he going to do? Uh, nice, nice, perfectly timed roll from Ling right there. But yet, still at a disadvantage right there to Ling's less traps. Nice back here, and this is what this is what a lot of Apollos want to see right there. You want to you want to state how strong your advantage state is, and capitalize off it. Because what C was saying earlier in the last set is that Paulo kind of has a, a hard time approaching with even with her hitboxes and stuff. But once Paulo gets in, she gets in, and as we're stating right now, Ling Ling doing most of the approaching and giving CC the first stock of the entire game with that crazy up smash. Right, hitting it with the nooch. Oh, somehow Ling Ling just low profile that entire art of article right there. But now this is his turn to shine. All right, amazing dash attack from C, but it's not going to be enough with that second raw one right there. And a nice teleport cancel. C, C, C has an idea of what he's going to do right here. All right, here's the airplanes coming. Another up air forces the air dodge. No, what a mad and brave man. Does not give it to him at all. All right, this is another another ledge trap from Ling and another dash attack coming from C, but Ling almost punishing him for it correctly. Ooh! I thought that was fair, but with forward throw, do it. No, nice DI from C and a nice catch. Back it. Oh, Nair. Nair just does enough to kill it right there. And now we're back to even stocks with just a little bit of extra credit coming from C. Oh, Ling Ling's devastating combos coming into play. Nice tech and a decent punish right there. Now both of them kind of scrapping. Ooh, has the roll read, but does it a bit too early with the trigger. Nice match from Ling Ling. Not trying to get any type of shield grabs right here. And what makes Ling Ling so consistent is that when he's pressuring you with a lot of peach buttons, he will condition you to hold shield for a really long time. And when you're still thinking you're about to get pressured, he will end up doing like a really fast aerial into a tomahawk float cancel grab and forces you to panic in some type of way. Wow. Somehow doesn't get any hits of those down smash right there. All right. Back throw, baby. How are we going to edge guard? The down tilt coming in play. Oh, nice bait right there and catching him with a nair. And an explosive flame. See, having another stock. But we're not going to count C. He, uh, uh, we're not going to count Ling yet. He can still definitely take this with this less chop right here. Oh, gets the back air. I forgot about He also likes to do the back air coverage too. Checking if you can actually tag. All right, trying to fish out another dash attack. C learning his lesson the first time. And it's not going to give it to him. Oh, dangerous recovery right there. Oh, oh my God. And Wepa catches him with a nice forward air. Wow, immaculate timing from Ling Ling right there in the middle of Explosive Flame using Peach's entire in uh, invincibility right there to come back in the middle of the stage. All right. This is where Paolo won. This is, this is what makes Peach so bad in this matchup is whenever she's in the air, Paolo can just harass her with a massive amount of up airs to force her to do some type of, type of defensive option. Whether you're going to air dodge, or just jump, but what most high-level peaches do, they will just float cancel their jump just to make it seem like they're just out of your hitbox range. And if you're just brainlessly throwing random hitboxes in your advantage state, then Ling Ling is just really, really good at punishing that. Uh, right there, immaculate trip, but not enough to see to take the game right there. At that point for that entire game one, it made it seem like it was um, it was like the battle of less traps. Whether C was going to have a good one or if Ling Ling was going to have a good one. Both of them evenly playing each other out. And we're going to change it to a different stage. Maybe small battlefield or town. Now, I wouldn't take Paolo to town because, you know, he might get cheesed by back throw. So, looks like we're going to run into small battlefield as we speak. All right. 
Curious to see what's going to happen in this matchup on Small Battlefield. I know the last time I was talking, like, oh, my boy Tito thinks this is a very good stage for Apollo because it's smaller than P2, but at the same time, Apollo can approach much easier and close in the gap much faster and harder. That was shield down air. Very good option. And more Apollos are doing it more consistently, though. But they're not going to... I feel like C shouldn't be able to do that. Oh, nice tech right there. But another punish from Ling Ling. Still on the aggressive approach right here. Oh! And now what, I, and now what we're seeing, is the difference in this one, is that in game one, Ling Ling was, good, was so good at ledge trapping C. But C was, was like basically always pressing some type of option out of... Some type of burst option out of shield. And now Ling Ling is utilizing more downers on the ledge. Testing out if C's patience is just enough to not get too antsy out of shield. Oh, nice ledge trump right there. That's the first time I ever see a you know, ledge trump coming from the bottom of the stage right there. Not had the explosive flame. The ledge trapping for these characters are very, very, well, different, but similar in uh, quality, I'd say. Oh, try to call out the immediate jump option from Ling Ling, but it's not going to take the bite yet. Oh, and a nice back air backing it up to him. Oh, and that's going. what I was oh, mentioning before game one. So consistent on those Z drop turnups right there, but immaculate tech from Z, C, and it's not gonna. T yeah, that's definitely gonna kill no matter what Di you're doing right there. <laughs> All right, nice patience from C, not falling for the bait. Oh, and a nice backer and a bit great Di from Ling Ling actually. He was kind of hesitant, he didn't believe, but nice roll away from Ling Ling, not falling for the Apollo Classic. Tech. Oh, Ling Ling starting to catch on to the tech in places right now. And this is what CC, both of these characters, is like, I used to think Paolo was straight up body Peach, but then I realized on like the higher level Peaches is that it's still managed and it's still doable. But yeah, this matchup is, is very doable for both uh, players. I feel it's like really it just a, matters more my fault. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it's really a skill thing, I'd say, because, you know. Oh, amazing. Can't Nair cancel the up tilt right there. Oh, here comes the Nair planes. Wow, somehow Immaculate DI coming out from Ling Ling right there. All right, we're not even going to care about combos at this point. I want to keep you off the stage. More oh, Nairs and up airs. Here we go, some up airs. This is where Peach does not want to be in this matchup. And if you're a Apollo fan, you're smirking in the chat right now. <laughs> oh! Amazing flow cancer from the ledge itself. But not going to be enough. Nice catch. A crazy drop. Crazy catch. Ooh. Oh my god. Perfectly timed back here from Ling Ling right there. Enough patience to call out the drift that C was going to go for in disadvantage. Oh, the lane combos are coming out. 40, basically 50% immediately from just C throwing a random art of article. Ling Ling. Oh, my man is pressing all the buttons right now. <laughs> my man Ling Ling was pressing some type of trigger to block from that from that pressure C was doing right there. Immaculate big brain play coming out from C and now evening up the game. But is C gonna consistently keep getting these Tekken places on the stage? Already almost at 100%, but can he wrap it up? All right, catches the landing with a great dash attack right there. Keeping Ling Ling on his toes. Oh, and the oh, stitch face comes out. Ooh. Can't use it quite yet. Okay. Yeah, oh, just throws just it away. Ling Ling knew just to throw it away because although stitch face is very good, a lot of... Oh, you're, oh. That amazing tech from C. And actually had enough time to block the turn up coming in for the coverage. Being played. The neutral in this game is, is very fast paced. You know, a lot of float cancel from Peach and a lot oh. of... Uh, Jumping around from Palu, but not gonna be able to get that tech is C and the late game goes to Ling Ling. Then the one time C did not tech was the one time that mattered for yeah, that dude. game, potential game set right there. And now we're gonna go to another game three of the day from this bracket. Yep. He's been very good with those techs, but it's you know, it's hard against Peach. At least what I noticed in this matchup, because I've seen like Jen play Ling Ling a few times in bracket, grand finals and stuff. And now this is my first time seeing C playing against C in bracket in person. And whenever Ling Ling catches the turn up, like, you know, Ling Ling does like the basic option. I'm going to air dodge to catch it. And I feel like Ling Ling's kind of catching on to it. Because if Ling Ling times his punishes correctly, he can force you to air dodge to catch the turn up. 
but then in the middle of that, you can just accidentally buffer an option in the, in the, the scenario we just saw at the end of game two. Yeah, no, Ling, uh, Ling Ling is very good at forcing those uh, scenarios. You have to hit a button, and then Ling Ling knows exactly what to do when you hit that button. And what Jen taught me is that in the middle of his set playing Ling Ling, you know, you can still catch turn up in the middle of your hit stun. Like he, like Jen will be in disadvantage like this, and Ling Ling will try to edge guard you with, oh, with turn ups, but Jen, but Jen would just precisely catch it with just by pressing Z. Yeah, you could also do with aerials, but it's much more. Uh, or which is much more reliable, but you know, you then have personally, to use that aerial. Yeah, personally, it's easier for me with aerials to catch it. Oh yeah, but Z uh, using you know Z catching is no yeah, lag to it. Yeah, not. it would be a lot better if you just yeah. um, raw Z catch it. But it's optimal, more precise too. As they say. But it's all, yeah, it's also more uh, um, optimal and precise, which I feel like most people wouldn't go for because you risk it, you air dodge too early, and then you get hit by turn up. Oh, yeah. Oh, taking notes from Jen, throwing up throws from Apollo. Able to get down from the pressure from Ooh. C. Hit him with a back air right off stage. Oh, Link Lynch having down. another roll read right there, that, but, but doesn't punish it. Just covering off stage so menacingly from Ling Ling. And right now, it seems to me that Ling Ling is doing what, what, what we was just talking about, too. Conditioning the way how C is catching turnums and it's calling out whatever buffer option you're going to do to the ledge because you're. You're basically buffering whatever um, button you're pressing to catch the turnups. I'm gonna call it right now. We're getting a bomb in three turnup pulls. Got three more turnup pulls. Yep. Oh, tried to catch him what he did in game uh, game two, but not falling for it this time. Ling Ling understanding that in the middle of that near cancel, you can just block, and rather with, and he would rather take the grab at this point. Not gonna die from center stage. Up throw. Up throw. Uh, not killing, not killing yet. Back Maybe throw might have, but like, we'll never know. Maybe 10 more percent from center stage back throw can probably do it. And at this point, up throw might kill at 5 more percent. Wow, nice Nair. Going to actually take the stock, but Ling Ling having a lot of extra credit right now with 70 percent. It's still going. Oh, more Nairs. Uh, uh, stopping the private platform. I guess that was intentional because he still kept the combo going from there. But hey, 45 percent. We take those. No bomb. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're going to see a bomb in this set. I don't think we're going to either, but it would be funny. Wow, what a great counter from, from C. You would almost never see a Palatina counter, just generally ever. I play Ike, so I always see Palatina counter because that's the matchup. <laughs> but, I mean, generally speaking. Like every right. other matchup I've ever seen Palo do, which is never counter. Yeah, and no, Palo's counter is not very uh, good, I guess. Yeah. Because yeah, cause most of the time, if Palo were to go off stage with it or miss it, it's very punishable for the other side of this. Oh, yeah, it's better. As far as counters go, and there's quite a few of them, uh, it's not, you know, super right here. Yeah, like if you're Apollo, you mainly want to go for like um, like projectile, cup, like Rob's laser or something yeah, like that. Their up tilt is quite strong for how strong It's it very consistent in this matchup from yeah. what C is showing us right here. That was like 110, and that's... And it killed, yeah. Up tilt yeah. is really strong. And plus he had a little bit of rage, too. Yeah, Peach is quite light, but, you know, even then. Oh, all right. Nice side B from Ling. Now he's going to have the stage. Barely missed times the Nair right there. Still having stage control. Cool. All right, nice back there right there. Unfortunately, Palatina didn't fully pull out his shield, so it just traded at that point. Stitch face in hand. Ling Ling is looking to use it to cause some damage. Oh my god, my man is pressing all the buttons right now. Maybe some good shield pressure. Turn on. Nice oh. confirms you can do with that. Doesn't even want to do it. He still wants it. Oh, that's why. I was like, wait a minute. Stitch face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, Stitch uh -oh. Face in C's hand. What, is, what can Palio do with a Stitch Face? We're going to find out. Uh, if you got those Z catches, you might as well play along with it, Poppy, because that wasn't going to work for the long run. Oh. All right. Nice tech chase uh, right there. One. I like that Ling Ling didn't brainlessly go for the immediate back hit, but the up smash calling out the first time C actually gave it to him right there. The majority of the set, he just kept rolling whenever he was being edge guarded by the turnups, but the one condition that Ling Ling needed.